Last week I went shopping and I found this, a USB powered fan, which is of course nice to have, but it gets even better if you connect a USB on the Go adapter so that you can connect this fan to your smartphone and have a smartphone powered fan, which is quite handy to have during summer times. Then I thought, well, wait a second, there's a motor in there, motors can be generators, there's a fan, fans can be windmills. So can I actually use this thing to charge my phone? Let's find out. As a first step, we need to check how this is actually wired up internally. And my suspicion is that this is just a DC motor connected directly to the 5 volt rail of USB. And a simple way and easy way to check this is to simply make this motor spin and measure the voltage coming out of there. So I have here a motor that we can join to uh, the fan. And on the other side, I have a USB socket that we can connect uh, the fan to. And uh, we can measure the voltage on this one. Then let's start spinning it up. And there we can see it. I'm just putting in there here two volts and uh, the fan outputs 0.7 volts. And if I increase the voltage or the speed of uh, the motor, the voltage rises here at the output. And this is basically a giveaway sign that the DC motor of the fan is connected directly to the USB volt, uh, five volt supply. Just for uh, out of curiosity, let's see how far we need to uh, crank up the velocity of the rotor, motor to reach five volts here. I suspect it's gonna be quite a bit. Yep. Now we're roughly there. Yep. So this is 17 volts at uh, roughly 100 milliamps, so 1.7 watts we need to put in there just to reach 5 volts. And this is of course pretty fast, so um, I suspect that we will need a DC to DC conver converter here um, that pumps up the lower voltage of the fan uh, up to 5 volts, which can then be used to charge devices. Let's do this in the next step. Here I have one of these very cheap uh, DC to DC converters. It takes one to five volts uh, in here and outputs uh, constant five volts here on the upper side. And this is actually a good match, uh, has already USB footprint here. So uh, we can directly connect this to our USB socket, like so. And then solder that together. So this will be the output side. So uh, it will output the five volts on the top connector and we will connect the fan to the button connector uh, to the inputs of the DC to DC converter. So let's simply add two wires to this one here as well. So this should be the negative of the fan. And this here should be the positive. And this now needs to connect to the inputs of the DC, DC converter. So this is already the positive input, so we can directly solder that onto here. And this already is the negative, and we can solder it directly onto the negative terminal here. OK. 
Okay, next up we will test this thing. To test this we will make this fan spin again using our motor. So let's join the two together and power the motor up. <laughs> and as you can see the LED is on, which means we have 5 volts. Next thing is of course to try to charge something. Let's use my trusty old slash new Sony phone for that. So as you can see it's currently not charging because it's not connected to anything. So let's connect it to our contraption here and try again. <laughs> it works, it works, it works. That's great. And actually I'm just putting three volts into this motor, which means it doesn't really spin that fast. So there is a good chance this might actually work in uh, practice. So let's now try that on the motorcycle. So here we have it mounted to the motorcycle. Let's see where, whether this will actually work. working at around uh, 30 kilometers per hour, which is uh, quite fair, I would say. Typically you're moving faster than that. And uh, yeah, it's not exactly a fast charger, I would say, but it was able to raise the battery percentage of uh, this phone. So uh, that's what it's supposed to do. So I'm quite happy with this. And I think I will put this now into a more permanent enclosure so that I have a nice USB charger on my motorcycle. All right, then. Thanks for watching and see you soon.